it's very hard when have war in your country is like it's like a is dream or is a not good dream and before 10 years we had a good life we never 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 had think to go outside syria my heart is very hard but i tried my best to just explain to my children always talk about syria before the war yeah we have uh, like a car dealership and a sweets factory and our our life it, it was it's we good before the war and when the war started and we lost everything everything it's explosion it's a big problem for us i have i haven't seen them almost seven eight years especially my parents first we were in syria then when the bomb came on our house so my dad he got our car started driving so then they stopped us they said give us the car and we'll let you go we gave them the car and they let us go is homes is destroyed all homes can't see news i can't when see news always when my husband just turn on the tv please stop please i can't i know it's hard because inside the war how how much many people need food how many people need home how many people their children they lose their parents i can't So when I first came to school, lots of people in my school were Syrian and knew how to speak Arabic. So they came to me and were like, here, I'll show you around and everything. So I have, I had lots of, lots of friends. When I first came to Canada, I'm like, I'm different. And so when I go in the class, I'm like, now I fit in. Canada helped you here, so you can help another people. Because Canadian people, or Canada is, regular Canada is help us we also we have to help another family or another people